Shalom, divine. How are you guys doing today? I hope your spirits find you well. Thank you for joining me on this transformational journey. My name is KB. And today I wanted to talk about mentors, messengers, people that are sent to you to help guide you through your life's journey. The universe sends us, Almighty Source, your higher self, God, whatever you want to call it, sends you messengers when you're ready to receive. Have you heard the student, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear? That is so true. Goodness. My messengers came to me in 2013. That's where I learned about them. maybe 25% of my information. And the rest of it was studying on my own due diligently and magical experiences. But um, I was so grateful, so grateful because they came at a time when I needed them most. But what some of us are not doing is listening. Listening to our intuition. Some messengers are here for you, but you're maybe not really ready to receive the information. But I guarantee you, if you open up your mind, and if you're tired of your situation, and you're ready to learn the truth, because only the messengers only will come to you when you're ready to learn the truth, the hardcore truth. If you're still masking pretending, hiding under things that are not true, under false paradigms, messengers won't show up for you because you're not ready to receive the truth. You will only ignore that information because you're not ready. You don't want to hear it. But when you're ready, diligently ready, like it's in your soul that you're ready to learn the truth they'll show up for you so what I wanted to say was um yeah my mine came in 2013 and um, they weren't religious none of them were religious nor were they ever victims they went through the same thing I went through, the same thing you went through, but they weren't victims. Never, ever did they refer to themselves as victims. Never. You have to be mindful. Mentors, leaders, messengers never refer to themselves as victims. So be careful when you do find a leader or if you're looking for one or if one does come to you. If one comes to you, best believe they're not going to put themselves in a victim mentality. But if you're looking for one, be mindful. It is based off of religion that people put themselves in a victim mentality. And they don't understand that. In, I can only re relate to Christianity. So they don't understand that Jesus went through the same thing, but Jesus didn't put himself as a victim. No. It's like a lot of people are saying that if you don't suffer, then God is not, you're not like one of God's children. That's not true. You suffer, of course, but you have to get yourself out of suffering. Right? You have to get yourself out of suffering. But you have to do your due diligence in order to get yourself out of suffering. So you don't sit in it. You don't stew in it and wait for um, so-called, I don't know, somebody to come save you. And even if, let's say hypothetically speaking, somebody was coming to save you, you still have to do the work in order for them to reach you, right? So be leery of those individuals that preach a victimized mentality. Use your discernment. 
when looking for a mentor or even if a messenger comes to me because messengers have come to me and I don't follow them anymore and messengers have also told us not to follow them and that is so true not to follow them walk beside them join me on this journey like I'm not your leader I'm not your mess I'm not your I'm a messenger I'm not your leader I'm not your guru that's what they used to say and it made sense because where those individuals are now I don't see myself there but they helped me so much and they came in the nick of time right when I needed them right when I was at my lowest point in my life there they come and I was so 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 grateful but thereafter you know studying from them and learning from them I used my discernment and broke off from them because I no longer needed them and went on my own journey but all the while I was listening and and learning I was still using my discernment going with my gut on some things are not meant for everybody but you can get a message and you can learn from anybody and that's what I did and it was it was it was it was I'm so 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 grateful Ooh, you guys just don't know I'm so grateful but keep your ears and your eyes open for your messengers they're out there if you're ready to receive the truth the real information just remember just remember they don't speak to themselves or refer to themselves in a negative fashion never they're going to uplift you they're going to be mindful of where you are but also know where they came from and because they speak not necessarily it doesn't have to be a hundred percent positive you know because sometimes information hurts real truth knowledge hurts because it's doing away with old paradigms and when you do away with old paradigms and old consciousness you're breaking down your old self and that is the death of the old consciousness the death of the old consciousness and rebirth of the new one and they bring hardcore information But like I said again, you have to be ready to receive it. And if you're not ready to receive it, then that's okay. You know, a messenger will come to you. But if you feel that you are ready to receive concrete, hardcore, painful information that will propel you to the next level, look for your messenger. Look for a mentor. That's what you do. Messengers come to you, but look for a mentor. Look for a mentor. And it may be a messenger, because I was searching on the, the internet, and that's where, how I found my messenger. But my messenger knew me, my soul. And I had a past life with my messenger. And that's how I knew that our connection was, was divine. But anyway, you need a mentor. So here's some things that you need to look for in a mentor, right? You guys have to bear with me. I, I I don't feel too well, and it's probably the detoxing. My my throat is sore, and I sound like a man. <laughs> anyway, here's some things that you need to look for in a mentor. Uh, a mentor will never sugarcoat shit. They'll never sugarcoat. They will always deliver the hardcore truth, whether you want to hear it or not. And it's up to you to... Um, how you receive it it's up to you on how you receive it but no they're not going to sugarcoat anything they're not going to continue to pacify you or continue to they will never say you're a victim never they will always try and get you out of that victim mentality whether it hurts your feelings or not they're going to try and get you out of that victim mentality and show you where the truth lies and the truth lies in pain it, it's painful to receive the truth. When I found out so many truths, I was so I was severely depressed for six months. I was this one truth hurt me to my core, and I was severely depressed for six months. But anyway, so they'll never sugarcoat anything. 
um, they they have a purpose. They have to fulfill their mission, and you will know that because they're trying to reach you and give you, walk you into the darkness where you will find the light. Right? Because in the darkness you will find light. And that's what they're trying to show you. And that means just going within. And when you go within, because they're trying to help you, show you how to go within. And when you go within, you'll see a lot of truth. But that's what they're trying to help you. That's their mission. So that they have a purpose. They have a mission. They have an imagination. They have vision. positive vision. They expect you to succeed. They expect you to succeed. They want you to succeed because that's their mission. They have deep root beliefs that they have deep rooted knowing, not beliefs. They have deep rooted knowing that you will succeed. So they don't, they know you're not a victim. They know your mission. They know your purpose. They know you're a powerful person. They want you to believe it. And in order for you to believe it, you got to go through kind of like boot camp in a sense, you know. If you decide to work with one of the messengers or one of a mentor, you can expect them to be patient with you. You can expect them to love you. You can expect them to be perseverance, to persevere, to be stubborn and never give up on you. You can expect them to have joy in assisting you. They will take joy and pleasure in assisting you. Okay? I just wanted to share that with you today. But make sure you use your discernment. Don't follow blindly. You can't follow anyone blindly. But you need to find, if a messenger hasn't come to you, you need to find one. One that is very positive, uplifting, but is hardcore, real, honest, and truthful to you and will not sugarcoat there's a lot of sugarcoaters out there and it doesn't it it's just be mindful of who you choose to follow there's a lot of decepticons out there a lot of people are they're not right so just be mindful that's all i have to say all right be mindful of who you choose to to follow and who you choose to listen to because those thoughts that they give you are in your subconscious mind and you want to make sure you're um, using discernment to decide what's right and what's wrong for you. Everybody has a journey. Everybody has a blueprint, right? But everybody doesn't go about it the same way. They don't go about it the same way. And they're not victims. I want to say one more thing. Remember... A mentor or a messenger is always going to be one that you can look up to, that you want to emulate, one that is already where they need to be, one that has what you need. That's a mentor. That's a messenger. One that has already gone through the ringer, that has already gone through the fire, and that has come out on top. The one that ends up in fifth dimension. The one that has gone through everybody, all the messengers, have already are already in 5D. Or are toggling between 5D. Going through their last bit of hardcore initiations to get to the other side. But always remember, a mentor is going to be the one that you want to emulate. They're going to already have everything that you want. That's a messenger. A true divine messenger. And like I said, my messenger um, has been going through this for maybe about, uh, probably, you know, all their life. But they were still going through, they were still toggling between... 5D and 3D, but ended up being, of course, permanently in 5D. So they were still going through some of their initiations, but they had everything I wanted. And that's a real, true, bona fide messenger. You want to emulate them, you want to copy them, 
if you used your discernment and feel that they are and you resonate with them, copy their every move to get you where they're at, okay?